Okay, so it is confirmed Apple is now on a weekly release schedules for iOS 18 betas. Today we get iOS 18 developer beta 6. And of course, in this video, we're going to go over some of the latest changes within this latest beta. By the way, the download was about 900 megabytes coming from beta 5 over to beta 6. Now, as I predicted earlier today, if you didn't catch my video, iOS 18.1 also received a beta today. So iOS 18.1 developer beta 2 is now available for registered developers. And this one is about a gig and a half of a download. So there's a few things happening here that I want to talk about. But just to clarify everything for those that may be new to the channel, Apple is currently testing two different versions of iOS 18 at the same time. iOS 18, which is set to be released mid to late September, and iOS 18.1 with Apple Intelligence, set to be released mid to late October. So in this video, we're gonna go over what's new with the latest beta. By the way, public beta testers, you can anticipate the public betas for these softwares within the next 24 to 48 hours, I would say here. So let's jump into iOS 18 and developer beta six first. I wanna talk about what else Apple released. So we have have iOS 18 developer beta 6, iPad OS 18 developer beta 6, we also have Mac OS 15 developer beta 6, TV OS 18 beta 6, Vision OS 2 beta 6, and Watch OS 11 beta 6 is now available for registered developers. Now when it comes to iOS 18.1, Apple released additional software for those devices running this latest version. So we have iOS 18.1 beta 2 iPadOS 18.1 beta 2 and a macOS 15.1 beta 2 is now available for the Mac as well. Now I want to start off with iOS 18.1 beta 2 and then we'll jump into iOS 18 here. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the latest changes added to iOS 18.1 previously available on iOS 18. So as we go into Safari here, if we jump into a website, we now have the ability to hide distracting items. So if we go into the highlight options in Safari, we get obviously right here all our options and we now have the hide distracting items and we can select an item from the screen and hide that element just like we can with iOS 18. So that's something that I've noticed has been added to this update beta 2 for iOS 18.1. Now there's also some changes here with a few new splash screens that I got. So I got a new one for the notes application. This is what it looks like. So when you launch the application, the notes application in iOS 18 beta 2 or 18.1 beta 2, this is what you will see. Now there's also a new splash screen here for the photos application as well. So as you can see right there, Apple just giving you a quick description of some of the new features added to the notes and the photos application within iOS 18.1 developer beta 2. Now Apple also updated this beta with the new option here under edit where you can edit your pages. Again, these are all things previously available in iOS 18 beta 5 and now brought over to iOS 18.1 developer beta 2. Now let's go ahead and jump into the settings application because Apple has also added a new option here or not new, but actually added a new sub menu for Apple intelligence, which wasn't here before. So we have the talk and tap to Siri here or type to Siri. We have a new sub menu completely redesigned and made entirely for this specific section here. So it's now been relocated to the Apple intelligence and we have the talk and type to Siri options within a sub menu and you have your options here to select your custom phrase, your obviously your side button, your type to Siri where you can double tap on the bottom of the screen to bring the keyboard and things like that. So something minor, but something that did change here within the latest beta for iOS 18.1 developer beta two. Now let's shift the attention over to iOS 18 beta six. Now there's a few things also want to talk about because there's been some changes happening with control center by the way that are also present on 18.1 and here on 18.0 beta 6 if we go into control center you may notice that apple has now added a new dedicated bluetooth option and toggle for your control center so a lot of users were complaining that apple did not add the bluetooth options right here for the quick actions so now apple has given us this separate option where you can go ahead and click on edit obviously go into add a control if you type in the word bluetooth you see there that it populates for you and you can now add a separate bluetooth option to control center within the latest beta now with the release of ios 18 developer beta 6 apple continues to expand on the dark mode icon themes so if you go to customize your iphone and you choose 
the dark icons for your home screen, Apple has now added even more third-party icons to the theme. So now, obviously, the more icons you get, the better your device will look, and Apple continues to expand on this dark mode theme for your icons on the home screen. By the way, if you're running iOS 18.1, the Maps icon and the Find My icon have been updated as well to match the icons for iOS 18.0. So just keep in mind that Apple continues to test both updates, once set to be released in October 18.1, one is set to be released in September, which is this one here, and Apple is now switched to a weekly release schedule for iOS 18 beta releases. So obviously, we'll see new betas here until perhaps mid-September, and then the software should be available to the general public, and then our focus will be over completely to iOS 18.1. And there you guys have it. I'll continue digging around the software as per usual and let you guys know anything and everything else that I find in the next couple of days. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.